What you guys got another video here for you on Windows 10 cannot find a network printer. Now this is sometimes a common issue when all of a sudden your printer cannot be detected on a Windows 10 system over the network it just won't be able to find it. So let's go to start settings and then devices and then what we're going to do here is go down to where it says printers and scanners. Once we're in here what we want to do is click on the add a printer and scanner and let the system do a search for the printers that are online and whether it can detect any network printer there. Now if it don't detect your printer or it's not listed you can click on this the printer that I wanted isn't listed. Click on that there and then it will allow you to add your own printer. Now what we're going to do here is click add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Click on this one here and uh, once we've got the radio button in that option, we can then click on uh, the next uh, button here. Now you can see here the printer's not been listed at all, so we need to click on this and add it in manually. It will work with all brands of printers, whether it be Hewlett Packard, Epson, uh, Samsung, any of those, it works with all of them. Click next, and then we can create a new uh, port. Type of port, not local, we want standard TCP IP. Uh, port inside here click next now we need to find the host name or the IP address for that printer now I've already got mine and you should know what the IP address is leave the query uh, printer and uh, automatically select the driver to use you can leave that in there if you want to uh, go next and you'll see it trying to detect the TCP IP port uh, windows will automatically move to the next page uh, when it's detected uh, its uh, printer there so what we're going to do is just let that do its thing here as so you can see it's searching so let it do its thing and it will move on to the next phase it does take a bit of time so just be patient at this stage and then you'll get some other options available to you once this is finished its scan and uh, it shouldn't take too, too much longer and then it should uh, give us the next uh, window pop up there we go so you can see an additional port information is required because it couldn't detect anything. And uh, you can see here, it gives you some options. Make sure the device is turned on, the network is connected, the device is uh, properly configured, and so on. So now we need to give it a standard uh, network card here. Now there's plenty of them on here. So depending on whether you've got NEC, uh, whether you've got any types of printers that are listed here, find the printer that is uh, related to your printer that you've got and then you can see we can select that printer now there's a ton of them on here so it should be listed but mine is a Canon printer so what I need to do is go up to the Canon section and look for the Canon printer you can see Canon network printing devices there now you just need to select whatever printer you've got and select the driver that you've got so you can see here Canon network printer device or Canon network printer uh, you can try those ones as well uh, so I'm going to try this one on standard and I've selected the right driver so I'm going to go next and let that scan to see whether it detects uh, the driver and model of that printer now this is going to go ahead and scan uh, the network to try and find the printer and the model number of that printer and hopefully install that driver for us so just be patient and let it do its thing okay as long as you've got the configuration right for this printer, whether you've got the right IP address, it's turned on, it's online, it's ready to go, you should get this printer detected as long as you've selected the right type of driver and the right model number of that printer there. So just you can see it's now been detected up the top there. You can see MG6800 series, it's got a number there and that is the network printer, it's found it. And you can see now it's given us uh, a list of uh, printer drivers to install you can see it right here so I can click on this now if I wanted to but let me go ahead and just show you here some of the drivers that are listed down here so you would select uh, choose the right printer for you and it will give you a, a big option of printers and drivers here so just I'm going to select the Canon you can see a massive list of printers right up here so now you need to select the right driver and uh, make sure you do uh, select the right one otherwise it won't work so you can see here just go through and find the right type of driver now once you've got the right type of driver here you just install it and away you go now if it's not listed here for some reason and you do have the driver to hand 
you can always click on have disk. You can always check Windows updates as well to see whether that detects the uh, printer and the driver and starts to install it. So if you have got the driver, just click on have disk and click browse and go to the location where you've got it. Now, if you want to try and find it, if it's on the system inside system 32 here, if you go to where it says um, driver store, uh, click on this one here and then go into file repository and look for uh, the printer uh, for your driver here. It should be listed inside here and you should be able to detect it and find it. So let me just go ahead and try to find one inside here. And uh, what we're looking for is the printer. I'm just going to scroll through here. It's a bit of a, a mess. You can see here printer Canon C printer dot inf and uh, that's at the printer driver right there and that will be it there you click OK on open and it will then go ahead and install OK so let me just quickly um, finish this installation process off so I'm going to select this one on here because it's already listed here so I don't need to go through that other process so I'm just going to go next and uh, you can see here use the driver that is currently installed recommended so we're just going to go ahead and do that. That is probably the best one there to go for. So go next. And you can see here it's now going to list the printer name. And you can see copy one because I've already got it installed. And I'm just going to go next. And now you can put in there do not share this printer or share this printer with others. It's entirely up to you what you want to do there. Uh, if you're sharing this printer with other people then you're probably going to need to set up the share this printer so that others can use it on the network. Now you can just go ahead and print a test page and you should be good to go. There we go. Test page has been sent to the printer. It is now printing that test page out. And that's basically how you can install any uh, printer on Windows 10. If it hasn't been detected, you can use any of those methods, whether it be through the file repository or via a driver that you've already got, or whether it be via the listing of the drivers and printers in that list the way I showed you there. It's pretty straightforward. As long as you've got the details and the configuration right, you should be uh, good to go. Anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this one helps you out. Thanks again for watching. Have a nice day. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.